Earlier today, the Mattoon Police Department confirmed the arrest of 53-year-old Barry Wolf of Martinsville. Wolf is facing eight counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse and five counts of aggravated criminal sexual assault. Shannon and I learned today that Wolf is heavily involved with the Central Illinois Storm Program, which includes girls from Eastern Illinois and Western Indiana. Police say the victim in this case was a juvenile. Barry Wolf is known for his expertise in basketball, but right now he sits in the Coles County Jail. Authorities say Wolf is accused of engaging in oral sex and other sexual acts with a juvenile while holding a position of authority over the victim. Chief of Police Jeff Branson says the victim can't be named, but says she's from Mattoon and has a whole lot of courage. It's a very hard thing to report because it's a, it has a stigma attached to it, and, and unfortunately, and, uh, and you know, I, I, you know this, I, I commend this lady. She's just a young lady for doing what she did. She may have stopped this from happening to somebody else. While she may have stopped it from happening to anyone else, Branson says he expects there to be several more victims to come forward. Branson says getting to this point hasn't been easy either, with the reported offense happening in February 2014. He says it took a chain of events for the victim to report it. We have uh, a long laundry list of things to do. Uh, we have a long laundry list of people to interview. We have to make sure that we don't leave anybody out. Wolf is well known across the Illinois basketball world, and Eastern Illinois women's basketball coach Matt Ballant even recruited one of Wolf's players earlier this year. Regardless of Wolf's basketball expertise, Ballant says this is a sad moment for the sport. Sad, uh, sad for everybody involved, and um, obviously I don't know the circumstances. I don't know, you know, what's the truth and not, but uh, I just feel sad for, you know, the basketball in general. Ballant says this serves as a good reminder for any coaches across any sport. The one thing it just reminds you, hey, be above reproach and just be really professional with your approach to players. He's in the Coles County Jail tonight on a $500,000 bond. Mattoon Police Chief Jeff Branson says the investigation is ongoing and involves multiple agencies. He says additional victims are anticipated. 